The FDA and the CDC are recommending recall of certain hand sanitizers that could lead to blindness and death. Let's talk about it. What is up, Zach here with Dr. MD. In today's video, I'm gonna go over the FDA's recall list of some hand sanitizers that may contain methanol and that could potentially lead to blindness and death. With this pandemic, the use of hand sanitizers has skyrocketed and for a lot of companies that has meant increased opportunity to make profits. And so a lot of new hand sanitizers have come out on the market. With all these new hand sanitizers, it is important to make sure that you are not using ones that may contain methanol. So methanol is really what's at the heart of the FDA's recommendation uh, to recall some of these hand sanitizers. So most hand sanitizers contain alcohol, meaning they contain either ethyl alcohol or isopropyl alcohol, but some of these hand sanitizers, particularly the list uh, on the FDA's recall list that are coming out of a company called Ask Biochem in Mexico, are containing methanol. So the problem with these methanol hand sanitizers is that if they are ingested or absorbed to a large extent through the skin, which would be more rare to cause methanol toxicity if absorbed through the skin, but particularly if they were ingested, you can get methanol toxicity. You can get ethanol toxicity as well from a regular hand sanitizer that contains ethanol, but methanol toxicity is gonna be more dangerous and it can potentially lead to blindness and death. Now, most people, of course, are not gonna be ingesting hand sanitizers, but the main risk comes if it's around and a child were to uh, get it and to ingest it, it could be potentially fatal and it could potentially lead to acute blindness. So what methanol does when it gets in the bloodstream, it's converted to formic acid or formate, and that formate is toxic and can cause respiratory depression, it can cause putaminal strokes within the brain, and it can cause acute optic neuropathy, leading to blindness, essentially complete irreversible blindness in a matter of minutes to less than an hour. So if you go onto the CDC's website, they say they confirm with the New Mexico Department of Public Health and the New Mexico Poison and Drug Information Center that seven patients actually got hospitalized after ingestion of these hand sanitizers uh, and were found to have high blood methanol levels. And four of these patients died. One of the patients was left blind or had reduced vision. They don't go into details. Um, and then two were critically ill. I've personally seen optic neuropathy from methanol ingestion once as an ophthalmology resident. And it occurs often in ingestion of windshield wiper fluid, which can contain methanol um, either accidentally or people ingest it on purpose as like a suicide attempt. The one case I saw was a gentleman in his 30s who had ingested windshield wiper fluid, which contained methanol and led to acute rapid blindness. He was otherwise okay, but completely no light perception, either eye, blackout blindness for the rest of his life from that ingestion. So the important thing I'm trying to say here is that you should use the right kind of hand sanitizer. Avoid the hand sanitizers that contain methanol. I'm gonna to link to the FDA's list in the description of these hand sanitizers on their recall list to avoid. So just make sure that you're not using one of these hand sanitizers that could contain methanol and that you don't have them laying around the house where kids could get to them. Especially, you do not wanna have one that contains methanol around. This video is just meant to inform you of the dangers of using any of these hand sanitizers that may contain methanol. Um, obviously, hand sanitizers overall are very good. They, kill viruses, they kill bacteria, and it's important during our current state of things to have hand sanitizers around and use them. But it's also important to be aware of these certain lists of hand sanitizers that could be dangerous um, because of their methanol content. So just be informed, check out the list down below of the FDA's recall list. Don't use those hand sanitizers. I saw this popping up in the news and I know it can be a little bit confusing because there's different types of alcohols that go in these hand sanitizers. I would just avoid these methanol based hand sanitizers on the FDA's recall list altogether. So check out the list in the description on the recall list. Do not use those. I hope you guys found this helpful, informative. If you did, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm Zach with Dr. Eyeball MD. I will see you guys in the next one.